this episode, we're checking out a ton of new games and collectibles. And there's so much versatility and you can play anywhere with it. That's mm -hmm. my favorite part. Disney pretty much owns the box office these days. The world is massive. There's so many regions that you can oh, explore. Yeah. That's the whole big thing behind the Scribblenauts series is that creativity and that freedom that you have while playing the game. I already want to replay this game multiple times just to see what happens if you make yes. the other decisions. It does have a really cool play anywhere capability between Xbox and the Windows app on PC too and it's cross platform. Also the game, if you've been playing it on the Xbox One X, has amazing graphics on it. And with the summer lineup filled with more soon to be classics, you can bet Funko is going to have some awesome collectibles and apparel for all of them. Which brings us to our next piece. The the Tartarus V2 gaming keypad. They have all the custom key bindings, they have your scroll wheel here. So many things to really up your game, especially when you're 20 minutes deep into a dungeon. I get chills every time I see that trailer. Even though you ran me over with a car on okay, purpose? Okay, that was one time. I, who says it was on purpose? It was, I totally, I saw you. <laughs> All right, so those are some really great games that you could pick up right now that came out last month. Make sure you talk to a game advisor, see if you can pick them up pre-owned and save a little bit of money. Let's move on to something a little bit more family friendly. Bethesda is one of the most loved publishers in the video game industry, responsible for some of the biggest, most popular, and most acclaimed game releases over the past 30 years. Let's take a look to see what's new from Bethesda. What's up guys, Lady Devon here at E3 at PAX East 2018. I am so excited about all this. We had so many cool things announced from Bethesda. And here are my five favorite things about PAX East this year. The first one that I'm most excited about, obviously, is Fallout 76 being a massive Bethesda fan. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Ellie looks like such a badass. Can I say badass? She looks like a badass. <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now. It's gonna be really, really fun. We are at the Monopoly Gamer Mario Kart booth. The man himself, Pete Hines. Hello. You guys did such a great job. There's a hollow tape on here. Now, is this hollow tape able to go inside of the Pit Boy? It does, in fact. I am having way too much fun at this booth. They also announced Elder Scrolls Blades, which is gonna be a mobile game that you can also play on your PC and VR as well. So for those who have not played the first Monopoly Gamer, what sets this apart from a traditional Monopoly game? So let's start off talking about our protagonist. In the first Rage, we were the sole survivor of the Fallen Ark. Thank you so much, Dia and everybody at Monopoly Gamer Mario Kart for letting us check out the game. We're really excited about Rage 2 and can't wait to get our hands on the game. Thanks for coming by, you're appropriately attired. I thought I would bring in my, my best for you here. I will see you later. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more content. Bye.